Good morning, me again. The YouTube channel Jubilee, not to be mistaken with popular Filipino franchise Jollibee, are well known for videos like this. A hundred strangers rate a model to her face. Her poor face. 20 versus 1, speed dating 20 guys. That sounds stinky. Do all cheaters think the same? How they trick these people into participating? And 6 white people versus 1 secret black person. Oh, yikes. I think we had scenarios like that in the 1600s, and it was not good. But specifically, we're going to be looking at these videos today. Blind dating 5 girls, based on their outfits. And there's also a Korean version that I found as well. It's basically the same concept, but with Korean people. I'm just kind of curious. I kind of want to see if there's any differences. Other than the language, of course. Do Americans prefer one type of fashion compared to Korean people? Korea has such a high standard of beauty. Will they be more judgmental? And you know, humans are shallow, and that's fine. I just want to know who wins the prize at the end. Ooh, I hope it's something useful. Last time, everyone just got... Self-esteem issues. I feel like nobody wins in these scenarios. They are really fun, I'll give them that. But at what cost? If you're the person that's picking, you're gonna get roasted! If you're the person that gets chosen, well, you better live up to people's expectations or you're gonna get roasted! That being said, thank you everyone here for sacrificing yourselves for our entertainment. Now let's judge strangers, judging other strangers, based on their appearance, but in like, a non-judgmental way. So my name is Garrett Brown. I graduated college a couple years ago, and I'm currently working on an app to help out some charities. Okay, a businessman, nice. As long as we're not making NFTs or anything, then we're safe for now. Susan, you better stay away from those. I really don't want to change my profile picture into a monkey. I do value women who can dress, you know, not up to standards, but as long as they're comfortable with what they're wearing and they feel good what they're wearing, that's all I look for, honestly. I guess we'll see if that's true. What if someone feels the most comfortable wearing a burlap sack or a wizard's robe? Well, someone better be wearing one of these options, because I need to see if he'll stay true to his word. I heard that burlap sacks can really bring out the color of your eyes. Why does this exist? What is the purpose of this photo? What's your name? My name is Liz. Are we wearing this as an everyday shoe or is this a dress up shoe? Yeah, this is an everyday shoe. I'd probably wear this to work. What does a night out with the girls look like? How crazy are we getting? 10 tequila shots. 10 tequila shots. 10? Oh my God. I think she wants to kill him. Does she have two livers? Well, maybe she wants to take his so she can have a third one. All right, so do you consider yourself to be a fashionable person? I'm more of like a comfortable street style type of person. Okay, so you're active on Depop. No. No? <laughs> no. That's so random. What does Depop have anything to do with this? Why does she have to be on Depop? Yes, Don't hello. Girl, do you have a name? I'm Jackie. So you must be a Depop girl. Unfortunately, no. <laughs> Man, I'm just, I'm just whiffing right now. Do I know anything? Guys, I'm an empath and I think he likes Depop. Is the app that he made Depop? Why, why is he obsessed? Number four, you're hiding your shoes. Is that for a good reason or a bad reason? You know what, you know what. Where are you from and where do you get your fashion um, taste from? So I'm from Toronto, which Ooh. may explain why I may not have brought the best shoes. <laughs> oh, a fellow Canadian, eh? I've been to Toronto before and... Yeah, that seems about right. Are you a big Drake girl from Toronto? Oh, no, 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 honey. <laughs> Toronto is hiding her shoes. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to let go of Toronto. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, you're kidding. My first impression of you was stinky shoes. Speaking of first impressions, I really like her hair, from what I can see anyways. Hair is one of the first things you notice when you meet someone. And if you've been here for a while, you know I have a history with mistreating my hair with too much bleach. And I'd rather not have my crispy hair be the first thing people see. So something that I discovered that helps the way my hair looks and feels is Glaze Super Gloss, a semi-permanent coloring conditioning gloss that enhances your natural hair color. And with no parabens, silicones, ammonia, or sulfates, it gives your hair that mirror glaze shine and makes it super soft using Babasu oil. Vegan, cruelty-free, and you can recycle the package. I always like coloring my hair, and I'd like for that to be a process where I can undo some of the damage that I caused by bleaching it. And by using Glaze Super Gloss, it's super efficient, because I can do both at the same time, and it lasts for up to 10 washes. 
It's actually super fast and easy to use. After applying Glaze Super Gloss in Honey Blonde on my dry hair using gloves, I left it on for 10 minutes, and after rinsing, it changed the tone of my blonde hair to more of a warmer, darker color, and gave it this really nice sheen. It looks like I just got my hair done, except I did it myself. And the results are exactly what I wanted. Something very natural looking, but still different. I'm pretty glad that I made my hair look a lot healthier. There are 9 color matching shades and a transparent one, if you're looking to give virgin hair or treated hair that healthy shiny look with every wash. You can buy their products as a one-off purchase, but did I mention that they have a very handy subscription service? That gets you 10% off when you subscribe, and if you use my code, you get an extra 20% off on your first order when you subscribe. One bottle lasts about 2-3 to three applications, so you save extra money and you'll always have products in stock to keep your hair in pristine condition. Hair is a very personal thing, and if you don't like the result, Glaze has a money-back guarantee so you can try out their products without any worry. Thanks to Glaze for today's sponsorship. And don't forget to check out the link and discount code below to help support the channel. Good. I'm Nikki, nice to meet you. All right, well, I'm very yeah. sorry. Your outfit is awesome. Thank you. Uh, so if you search up top 10 anime betrayals, you'll see this clip. All right. Let's go, thanks. <laughs> see you soon. See you soon, hopefully. Oh my, gosh. my heart's breaking right now. Guys, I read a book on how to not be an empath. He is going through the seven levels of grief. Well, I guess that's what happens when you judge a shoe by its cover. If I had to pick who had the most comfortable shoes, it would probably be this girl. She made a very bad first impression, not gonna lie. Her shoes were stinky. She hates Drake. What's next? She's eight feet tall? What are you, like 6'5"? <laughs> Come on six now. One. <laughs> oh, okay, six feet isn't the worst. Well, at least she's not nine feet. Cause have fun finding shoes that fit. You're not six one. You're absolutely I'm six not six one. one. I'm. Si you're just short. <laughs> okay. See what happens when you. See what happens. They turn on you just like that, right? Hey, don't make fun of a short king. Guys under five eight are still people too, according to the law. And it's not his fault that he is very bad at asking questions. Actually, that is his fault. I'm liking what I'm seeing. A lot of streetwear oriented. I mean, don't you get hot wearing that? I mean, we're in California. I don't know how you can- That's how you, you know, keep your body looking good. You just sweat throughout the day. Be honest with me when I ask you this question. Okay. How many men have you ghosted in your lifetime? <laughs> Probably too many to count. <laughs> I wasn't expecting those pants. They look very good. I like them. They Thank sit you. well. What, what kind of pants are those? They're corduroy. It, it's actually overalls. I always say like I dress like elevated casual. Like I want to look put together, but I want to look comfortable and like I could fit in in like any scene. Why do you think you're single right now? Just truly just have not met the one. The questions went from zero to a hundred, but in an uncomfortable way. These are not the vibes. Stop! My God! What, what does he want her to say? Why are you single? Might as well ask her if she has health insurance. You guys are in a speed dating video on YouTube. How about we just chill for a little bit, guys? Okay, so you're looking for the one, the one right now. I mean, as you get older, you have no choice. <laughs> See, now I'm starting to picture more what they look like. I get an actual understanding of their personality a little more. The overalls, I love them. Yeah, thank you. I think it looks great. I love the brown. What kind of things do you think you could introduce me to? New food, new music. I'm really into Indian food at the moment and like Mediterranean and Ethiopian food. Oh, right on. I could just be assuming, but I really don't think that's his vibe for food. I think his vibe is more of that first girl that he eliminated. And maybe some tacos? I don't know. I'm so sorry for letting you go. You look absolutely great. Hopefully in the future, All good. you can put me on to some more of that food yeah, and some music. Sure. All right, thank you. She's like, I don't know, man. I want to go home. I'm loving the blazer. Thank you. It screams, yeah, I'm here to make some money. I'm here to do my thing. Get out of my way or I'll spit on you. And I love that. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> right now, the clothes don't mean anything anymore. This guy is on autopilot. Hi. Hey, <laughs> Garrett. Kaylee, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I don't give my number until the second date. It goes, <laughs> what? I don't want a bunch yeah. of random dudes to have my number. Bunch of random no. dudes. Well, I guess he did pick mostly based on clothes, just like the video said. We learned that he hates dirty shoes and he has mommy issues. Can we rate your outfit? Yes, yes. give it. Give it to me. <laughs> giving it mommy issues. <laughs> All right, so now we're switching over to the Korean version of the show. 
둘, 셋! 벌비 비아씨 안녕하세요, 비아씨입니다 저는 소개팅 처음입니다. 전두 번째. One thing that I already noticed is that the guys are dressed significantly better than Mr. Depop affiliate. Okay, I need to stop. I'm gonna be the co-owner of Depop soon. These guys are K-pop idols, so that could be why. But why do I have a feeling that everyone here is gonna be dressed better? <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. I was expecting everyone to be Korean, so that's cool. Adding some new food to the hot pot. I like that. And I'm also hungry. From what I see, the first guy's into more American style clothes. Western fashion is all about comfort but also being stylish at the same time. I know personally I like to dress like that. And the American guy even mentioned that he likes girls that are dressed more comfortable casual. <laughs> and the second guy likes that classic girl next door look, which is more of that fashion that you see in East Asia. People that dress like that here are about to go clubbing and dance on tables. Bonjour, mademoiselle. But you see this as more of an everyday look for Korean people. Oh! <laughs> 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 I knew it. I know an Arianator when I see one. He strikes me as an Ariana fan. Also, if this girl mentions anything about Ariana Grande, I will donate my kidneys. I don't think you can take those boots off. Sorry, but you have to sleep with those on. Hey, stop looking at their hands. I thought we were only picking based on clothes. Put that down. Oh my god. So now looking at all the clothes, the outfits are different, but why does everything sort of look the same to me? You know what I mean? If you live in Korea or any East Asian country, the culture is to fit in and not stand out. And most people will have a similar look. That's why the majority of people living in Korea are Koreans. While in America, it's all about expressing yourself with your hair and your clothes. <laughs> oh no! She has a stomach. I thought that girls didn't eat or fart. Can you guys confirm in the comments, please? <laughs> How do you get your nutrients? East Asians love small faces. They love that sh for both men and women. If you go to one of these countries and someone shoves their fist in your face, don't be scared, they're just complimenting you by saying that your face is the size of their fist. If your facial features resemble a Funko Pop, then, then I'm, I'm sorry. You might want to try a different country. And maybe go see a doctor, because that does not look healthy. But if you look like this, then congrats! You fit the Asian beauty standard. Ah, <sighs> another unrealistic beauty standard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ariana Grande? Well, there goes my last kidney. The bottom half, sure. The top half, maybe when Ariana was in her Island Gal era. I think she's in her K pop era now, so you're a little bit too late. <laughs> to me, it seemed like the Korean guys were more focused on small details, other than the clothes, like the hands and the hair. Her hair is this shade of brown, thus for she must be of French descent. While this guy's like, I will never forgive myself for letting her go. Wow. 
안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 러시아에서 온 얼라라고 합니다. 반갑습니다. 어, 눈 색깔 완전 이쁘시다. 색깔. 아, 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 아. I got my eyes from AliExpress. Maybe that's why I'm half blind. It might be the empath in me that's talking. But I feel that they are happy with their choices. Feed that YouTube algorithm with a like and a comment so I can pop up in your YouTube recommended. And so I can grow back my kidneys. Unfortunately, I have none left. I'm still trying to grow them back from the last video. Have a good day, try not to be dumb, and I'll see you in the next one. And don't forget to check out Glaze Super Gloss using the link in the description and for you to get that extra 20% off using my code. Who doesn't want healthy, shinier, glossy hair? I know I'm gonna start taking care of my hair. I, I probably should have done that years ago.